Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of the Pool Guy Show. Today I'm going to be talking to the owner, operator of the multi-torque filter socket sets. This is a specialty tool that's designed to allow you to remove the filter clamp on a pool filter very rapidly. And these sockets are designed for the Pentair Hayward and Jandy filters, as well as other off-brand filters. Today I'm going to be talking to Tal about his products and also about a couple of other products that Multitorque makes that helps with the pool filter and just your general equipment needs. And today's episode is brought to you by Inyo Pools. Inyopools.com has been helping pool owners find the right pool parts since 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have your parts delivered right to your door. So I'm going to be joined in a moment by Tal. I've known him for a few years now. He comes to the pool shows when they're in Long Beach here in California. And he is also a pool service technician out there in the field. He does about uh, 70 pools a week still in Florida. And so the Multitorque is a side business that he created to help those in the industry speed up their filter cleaning. And we'll go over more of that um, in the podcast here as I interview Tal. So I'm joined today by Tal Milliken. He is the owner and operator of Multitorque. And they make different sockets for your filter and other products. So I'm going to talk to Tal here about his products. How are you doing today, Tal? Doing well, David. Nice talking to you. Yeah, so we, we go back a ways now with your multi-torque sockets. I've been using them for quite a while, and I've seen you at all the trade shows here in California. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, David, we uh, actually, it, it all stems from when I started my pool service, which goes back to 1994. Um, my wife and I uh, built our first house. We'd owned a, a previous house in a different part of Tampa, and uh, we had recovered... Uh, from a uh, <clears throat> a lot of people don't know that I, uh, some people are born into the pool industry and others uh, one way or another join it later in life and uh, my wife and I were both flight attendants for TWA living in New York and we went through a a, a job action with the company in 1986 and we uh, called it quits we didn't want to cross our own picket line so we came down here and started over and uh, in 1994, I started a little shoestring pool service, and uh, after I uh, trained with another service, went to work on my own and, and started picking up pools. And it didn't take me very long at all to, to get really frustrated with some of the equipment. I, I call it inspiration through aggravation. <laughs> um, every so- time I break my knuckles on... I have a lot of, and still have a lot of, uh, the stay right, the old stay right positive flows with the four lobe knob. And every time I got in a hurry and scraped my knuckles and drew blood, I kept thinking, you know, there's got to be a better way of doing this. And uh, it only took me 13 years, David, but I finally figured it out. And I introduced my first three sockets at the Florida Spa and Pool Association show over in Orlando in February of 2007. And it's, uh, it's been sort of a, a growing experience ever since. Um, my wheelhouse is still basically cleaning and a little uh, minor repairs. And it's, it's what, what I look forward to at each and every show is uh, invariably someone will come to the booth with an idea or a suggestion for uh, another socket or some sort of tool and um, it, it, the first thing I have to do is find out if there's one already out there. If there is, it doesn't make any sense to, to reinvent the wheel, so to speak. And then I, I do a little research on what it would cost me to come up with a prototype. And if I can do that, I will find people like yourself who are willing to, uh, t- to go out and field test the prototype. And if I get really good feedback on that and can find someone local, I always like to stay local. Uh, if not, uh, I, uh, I venture out and try to find someone who can who can make a, a production model for me at a decent price that people, uh, other pool techs like myself and like you can afford. Then we uh, then we run with it and, and get into production, and that's what happens. Or that's what has happened with multi torque over the over the period of the last 14 years, 13 years. It's uh, it's been a matter of. Uh, 
running with suggestions or in a couple of instances coming up with other ideas besides the multi-torque. We've, we've extended, extended our or expanded our product line now. We, we now have nine different multi-torque sockets, including the, the, the three-piece value pack. But we also now have Chlorkinator, which is a multi-use tool with a four-way swing-out handle. And then we also make the button hook anodized aluminum seven-way uh, drain plug wrench, which is, um, I've, I've really been pleasantly surprised at of, of how well it's been accepted in the mm-hmm. industry. And, and before I touch more on the multi-torque, the button hook, that if you have a um, clean and clear Pentair filter, that particular device that you invented to get the drain plugs out works perfectly for that Pentair filter. For those who may be listening to the podcast who, who haven't been to any of the trade shows that have been that have not seen the Franken filter, uh, Franken filter is my little demo filter that I use on a uh, professional cake decorator's turntable. And it allows me to to uh, very quickly demonstrate all of the different applications of the chlorinator, the button hook, and of course the uh, the multi torque sockets. And uh, people in, instantly get it. Uh, guys like you and me and gals that are out in the field uh, struggling in the trenches to try to to, to try to get things done. Uh, it, it's always a matter of trying to find an easier, safer, faster way, and and that's that's what this drain plug wrench does. Every year it gets a little tougher for me to wedge my body in between the house and the filter and struggle with a pair of channel locks to, to get these plugs out. And uh, what the button hook does, uh, it has the geometry for nine different plugs, so it instantly captures it. You know, the hardest part of getting just about any drain plug out or off is loosening the darn thing once you've got it loose you can usually just reach in with your fingers and hand loosen it so what the button hook does is allows the user to grasp the geometry and with the bent handle gives you a little bit more access and then once you've broken it loose then you can just reach in so um, and that's basically the same with the with the chlorinator multi-use wrench uh, it, uh, it allows access because the handle rotates 90 degrees depending on which side you're using, so it allows you more access to the different uh, the chlorinator lids, the drain valves, all the different uh, aspects, some 40-some-odd different applications for that. Can you uh, touch on the, the three-pack of the multi-torque sockets? So what filters are, is that for mainly, the three-pack that you sell? Well, the, the MT-301, as the model designation is, uh, contains our probably our single most popular selling socket, which is the MTJ-770 for the former Stay Right, now Pentair System 3 filtration system. Uh, it has uh, three geometries in it. There's a B-side, I call it, that works on the old Stay Right 2 and a quarter inch knob, and then the, the A-side has a geometry within a geometry. They're both basically the same, but they fit <laughs> They fit the new and the old 3-inch. Uh, some time ago, I guess it's been about a year or so, Pentair uh, changed the size of the knob on the clamp assembly for the System 3 filter, and uh, it, it took someone out in uh, Bakersfield, California, to make me aware of that. I, I thought we were just humming along nicely until they sent me pictures showing the socket just resting on top of the new knob. So I had to go in and retool the socket, but it, it fits now the, the newer System 3s, the old 3-inch three System 3s, and the 2 and a quarter. The other uh, socket, part of the trio, is the MT-100. That's our anodized aluminum socket. One end is a 7 8 socket. The other end is a 9 16 uh, socket. It works on any 9 16 brass hex nut. The other end works on any 7 eighths. The 9 16 end also works on the positive flow connector nut, the uh, inch and a quarter long hex brass nut. And that's the same connector nut that Jandy uses on their new DE uh, filter, the one with the the two grab handles on the top. Mm -hmm. And the third third member of the uh, value pack is our little MT-50 which has gone through some changes itself, but um, the existing model now 
works and, and fits on just about any three or four four lobe knob in the industry, including some foreign. For example, uh, Spec filter out of Germany makes an industrial um, uh, strainer uh, basket with a cover that has uh, eight four four lobe knobs on it, and this socket also fits that. So it, you can either use a three eighths inch drive socket wrench or any drill and in a matter of seconds you've got just about any three or four lobe knob removed from the clamp mm-hmm. makes and it I, real fast real easy and i use that one mainly know, here in california on the uh, 4000 and 2000 series penther filters that here there's a lot of those still around the uh, 2000 series filters yeah exactly yeah and we have you know here in florida uh, we've accumulated just about everything you can imagine david <laughs> Uh, there's there's no particular prevalence, and uh, I still occasionally someone will inquire about. Um, I'll get an email or a phone call saying, "Does does your socket work on such and such?" And um, I'll just have to ask them, "Can you send me a picture, uh, or let me look it up?" Because I have no idea of what filter you're talking about. Because there's you know there's just myriad filters these days, and. Uh, <clears throat> Wood that I could make a universal socket that would fit on just about everything, but that I don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't think anybody could really do that. But uh, we're always looking, uh, always looking to expand the repertoire. That's why at every single pool show, either uh, before, well, it usually has to be before the show opens. I will take all three sockets or more. Uh, I'll, I'll just put them in a bag and walk walk the floor and see if there's anything else that's on the floor that's new that I can add. Um, You can't have too many applications for a socket. Mm -hmm. And I know in my case, I've been using, I do about 160 filters every year, and I tell you, these your sockets I've been using probably for about four or five years now, and they've outlasted my drill. I mean, they're, they're made really well. And the time saving and these things, it's just great. I mean, the amount of time you save using the multi torque sockets to get that filter clamp off, um, it's just amazing. I mean, if you haven't, if they haven't used one before, you don't know what they're missing as far as time saving. And you know, David, to this day, I, I still carry some little two by six promotional cards around. And when I see another pool guy, uh, I, I don't necessarily bother them uh, uh, unless. I'll usually stick one in their in their door window just to let them know what's out there. And sometimes, you know, I'll see them walk up to the truck and say, "Hey, I want to introduce you to some good news." And I'll say, "Nah, I'm good." And I'll say, "Okay, I'm just, you know, just take it, look at it, watch the videos. You'll just be amazed at the time it saves." And you know, I, I never really know if it works or not. It's just a matter of, um, you know, I I'm out. <laughs> I'm out to help as many pool brothers and sisters as i can you know i'm just trying to make it easier safer and faster Mm -hmm. and also time you know you spend more time out there time is money you can do an extra account with the time you save using your tool versus not using it well that's you know you're always burning daylight Uh, i don't want to spend any especially down here in florida you know um summer here in in um, central west florida uh, I'll, I'll be honest, it's hell. It's hot, it's humid, and the faster I can get a job done and the faster I can get on to the next. And you, we may be only talking. I, I once had, when I was running around and had a, uh, a filter in the back of my truck similar to the Franken filter and was showing my prototypes to people, I had, uh, I had one pool guy say, nah, I play the guitar, my hands are really fast. And, <laughs> yeah. We all have what we think are fast hands, but compared to uh, a, a 5,000 RPM drill, we're talking maybe a minute and a half versus six seconds, and that may not seem like a lot at one filter, but, but when you add up how many that is in a week, we're talking a big difference, and that, that's what that's what tools are all about in the first place, mm-hmm. and that, that's what multi-torque and chlorinator and... and button hooker all about it's all about time baby and i i think you mentioned some of the distributors earlier from you talking about the trade show so pool service professional can go to their local uh, distributor and they can find your product just about at, at every one of them right 
Well, it gets really frustrating. I get, I, I get phone calls from people saying, you know, I tried to find you, and I went to my distributor, or I went to the place where I normally buy um, my pro- where I buy my supplies, and they don't carry it. And trust me, that's just, if not more, frustrating for me than it is for the, for the pool tech out there trying to get my product. Um, I do have a Where to Buy page on my website. And it lists all of the different, all of the online uh, places where you can buy my product and all of the distributors where it's available. Uh, that doesn't mean I wish I, 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 I would love to have more distributors, but I'm happy with what I do have. However, uh, that doesn't mean that, that you can't buy the individual sockets. It's just a matter of finding them. And I, trust me, I'm working every day to get the individual sockets into more places for those people that, <clears throat> that don't need all three of the sockets in the value pack. You know, for example, we, we make a specialty socket called the HPS 200, heater plug socket. And it, this is a great example of a socket that was suggested to me by a heater technician. And I, I that's not part of my wheelhouse, but when he showed me the two plugs that he gets really frustrated working with, I thought, well, yeah, I could do that. Now, it took me almost two years to bring it from his suggestion to where it was bagged and barcoded and ready to sell. And still, frustratingly, a lot of people out there don't know about it. I don't advertise it. And that's another thing. I, if, I, if I was making more money, a lot of it would be going into more advertising because uh, a lot of people, even though Moldwork is now out in the field for 13 years now, there's a lot, I can call up a lot of SCP and SPP uh, branches and say, hi, my name's Tal Milliken, I'm with Multitorque. And they say, multi-who? Yeah. And that's the, that's the way it is. But, uh, again, I encourage people, if you go to pool shows, uh, that's, that's where you find things that are going to make your life so much easier. You know, if you're out there in the trenches, that's what pool shows are all about, gaining mm-hmm education and, and getting an idea of what's what's out there to help you so if the if a uh, service technician wants more information where can they go to find out all the various multi-torque about the button hook and the chlorinator well the website is www.multi-torque.com that's m-u-l-t-i dash t-o-r-k and at the top of the home page there's a link to all of the product videos There are testimonials. As I mentioned before, there's the where to buy page. And if your distributor uh, is not carrying it, jump up and down and scream, scream, yell, and holler and see if they'll order it from me. And that's the thing. I I don't have, I don't require minimums. A distributor can call me and ask for one socket or 100 sockets. It doesn't really matter. My, my, My mission is to get sockets into the hands of those of those people who need the most and that's that's us techs out in the field slogging our way and and getting trying to get things done well thanks for your time tal and i'll say one more time i I love your products i I use all of them on my route and i highly recommend your products to everyone that i know and i hope that this podcast will also get the word out that these are a great time-saving product for the pool service technician Oh, David, thanks Thanks for your time. It's been a pleasure talking to you, pool okay. brother. Okay. Have a good day, Tal. You take care, David. So if you're a pool service professional or a homeowner looking for a way to speed up your filter cleaning, the multi-torque socket sets are a great way to speed that up and to get done with your route a lot quicker. Or if you're a homeowner, it makes your filter cleaning a lot easier using these particular tools. And Tal also mentioned the button hook, which is a great filter drain plug remover for your pool. Especially if you have the Pentair Clean and Clear Plus, when they put the drain plug right underneath the uh, pipes for the inlet and outlet, which I have no idea why they did that, making it virtually impossible to reach that drain plug to to fully drain out the cartridge filter. And I have an extremely high level of respect for Tal. I know that it's very difficult to create a pool product, to market it, and to be committed to it, to get it out there and to get it in the hands of the pool service professionals in the industry and homeowners that that want to service their own pool. And he went over some of the difficulties with the distributors. And, you know, it's just really hard to actually be a single individual owner of a pool product company when you're dealing with 
this industry where a lot of the uh, companies are very large manufacturers so I'm, I'm really thankful that Tal is committed to continue to make the multi-torque socket set and like I said earlier I, I use them on my pool route I do a lot of pool filters every year and the multi-torque socket sets really help speed up my time out there in the field when I'm doing the filters and cleaning them so I highly recommend looking into getting the multi-torque socket set and I hope you enjoyed this week's podcast and have a great rest of your week, and God bless. The Pool Guy Podcast Show.